Bible Educator. My dear student and my esteemed viewer, welcome to our Form 2 English lesson. The topic is grammar and we are exploring independent clauses and subordinate clauses. Without further ado then, let us explore the terms independent. Independent means that can stand on its own, self-sufficient, that can depend on its own. When something or someone is independent, it means that they don't need any other person or any other thing to survive. Now, sentences are not people, but as we continue talking about them, we will appreciate why we call them independent clauses. So, independent simply means sufficient. Self-sufficient. Self-sufficient. But dependent, on the other hand, means that cannot stand on its own. Depends on another. So, when someone is dependent, it means that they cannot survive without support from others. So, in this lesson, we are talking about independent clauses and subordinate clauses or dependent clauses. We shall explore them and by the end of the lesson, you will be in a position to use them correctly in sentences. What is a clause? That is also another term that we need to explore. The word clause, the word clause refers to a stretch of words or a string of words or a group of words that has a subject and a predicate. The subject is the noun that the sentence talks about. The predicate is the part of the sentence that contains the verb. We always say that the rest of the sentence, apart from the subject, is referred to as the predicate. Let us look at these sentences that we have. I am happy. Then, because I have one. Now, the second one is not a sentence. That's why it begins with a small letter. But the first one can be considered a sentence. But at this level, I want us to consider them as clauses, a stretch of words that consists of a noun phrase and a verb phrase. The noun phrase is the one we are calling the subject. And the verb phrase is the one we call the object. Sorry, we call the predicate. The verb phrase is called the predicate. So the, the word I there is the noun phrase. I'm happy is the verb phrase. The noun phrase is called what? The subject. While the verb phrase is the predicate. So that qualifies to be called a clause. The second one, because I have one, I is a subject. Have one is a verb phrase. Have and one are verbs. So if we have a subject and a predicate, a noun phrase and a verb phrase, in a stretch of words, that can be considered a clause. 